What's up everybody? This is your girl EJ and really quickly I saw um, a very interesting post on the internet that said your parents don't owe you anything. And um, the article goes on to say that um, as we as we grow and mature, um, we should be more of a help or an assistance to our parents instead of always stressing them out, needing something, needing some type of help and uh, feeling entitled because we think that they owe us something. When nine times out of 10, they don't. It was funny because I find myself thinking about this all of the time with me being in my thirties, you know, at this point, whether we're talking about COVID or not, at this point, you know, a lot of us are just at that age where we can get a call at any moment that says, you know, a parent has passed away or even a grandparent. Nobody wants that call, but we are at that age. And I feel like in addition to, you know, their everyday stresses of maybe still working or their health or things like that, I feel like adult children really should um, be in a position where they can help their parents and not add stress to them. Now, granted, some things happen. Some situations just make it necessary for you to rely on your parents. You know, maybe, you know, you just went through a divorce. Maybe, you know, you're a new widow or widower. You know, maybe you've gone through something traumatic that has caused you to fall back on your family. Those things for sure will happen. And you're gonna need your mom and daddy. If you got a mom and daddy, maybe your company shut down out of nowhere. Maybe you've gotten a recent health diagnosis that doesn't look good. Maybe you just found out your spouse has an addiction to something, gambling, drugs, and you need a support system. I'm not talking about that. But I do feel like as we age, so should our mindset. You should want to get to a place in life where you don't have to call your parents. And if you don't want to get to that place, I know your, <laughs> I know your mom and daddy wants you to get to that place. And this is not a judgment because none of us really have this thing figured out. I'm just saying I agree with the article that as we get older, we should be more of a help and not a harm to our parents. And I know that there are also some parental exceptions. You know, maybe you do feel like your parents owe you. Maybe you feel like, you know your father, you know, should let you live with him, you know, if he was never there for you when you were a child, you know, maybe you feel like, you know, your mom can watch your kids the whole summer because she didn't raise you. I get that and I feel you. I'm just talking about the people who were actually raised by their parents, had a decent childhood, and now you're grown. We all know that person uh, who has never been consistent on the job, who is just, you know, just all over the place and they always have the parents to fall back on, which may or may not be the actual problem. Also, if you hear Frozen playing in the background in my living room, mind your business. I have just never wanted to be that person that had to call home and ask my mom for anything. And my mom will give me, you know, the shirt off her back. Well, it's not a shirt, it will be a blouse. And, I'm not interested in wearing blouses these days. But I don't ever want to find myself calling my mom or, you know, putting her in a position where she's stressed about me, she's worried about me, she don't know, you know, what's going to happen in my life, you know, from one day to the next. And I pride myself on giving her that type of peace. But that's just me. I do know people that feel like, you know, their parents are supposed to do whatever they need them to do. You know, if that means bail me out of jail, do it. If that means loan me some money, and by loan, I mean I'm never giving it back, do it. It's the entitlement for me. All I'm saying is, of course, it takes a village. We all need support. We all need community. We all need help. What I'm saying is get the help and move around. Get the help and become a help. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And that way, when something happens to your mom or dad, they can call you. Because see, they've prepared you and showed you how to take care of other people because they had helped you. They helped you and so now it's your turn. You should be able to help your parents, you know, as you get older. What I'm saying is, can can your parents ever call you for a burger? You know, a little a little fry. Can they ever call you and say, hey, you know, can you can you get my light bill this month? Hey, can you can you <laughs> can you put some on my <laughs> on my grocery bill? Can they ever do that? Like you sh you should want to be some type of help. And even if you can't contribute financially, you know, because it's not always possible to contribute towards a bill or, you know, buy groceries this month or do anything extra. That's that's fine. But you should always aim to, you know, at least if you can't help to not be a hindrance. You know, maybe I can't help my mama, you know, this month, but I'm not calling her for anything except to check on her. 
you know, something like that. Now, as always, I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about maybe being in your 30s and 40s and maybe still relying heavily on your parents uh, because you feel entitled to that help? Not out of trauma, not out of need, but just because you feel entitled and maybe maybe they've crutched you thus far too. So how do you guys feel about that? Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. This is your girl EJ and I will see you guys next time. Bye.